వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అనదర్ సెషన్ ఇన్ డెంటిస్ట్రీ అండ్ మోర్ టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఇన్ ప్రాస్థాంటిక్స్ ఇస్ మెంటల్ యాటిట్యూడ్ ఆఫ్ కంప్లీట్ ఎంజ్ ఆఫ్ పేషెంట్స్ సో ఐ కంప్లీట్ ఎంజ్ ఆఫ్ పేషెంట్స్ సైకాలజీ విల్ బీ ఆఫ్ వెరీ డిఫరెంట్ లైక్ ద అదర్ పేషెంట్స్ హూ వర్స్ టు ఎ డెంటిస్ట్ ఫోర్ డెంటల్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ బికాస్ ద పేషెంట్ హ్యాస్ నో టీత్ హీ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు హ్యావ్ ఎ కంప్లీట్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ డెంచర్స్ సో హౌ ఇస్ క్లాసిఫైడ్ Uh, the patients into basically four categories that is class 1 class 2 class 3 and class 4 they are the first group philosophical then exacting historical then indifferent and also there is one more classification that is cooperative and uncooperative so in cooperative we have apprehensive so apprehensive further divided into anxious frightened obsessive or exacting chronic complainers and self conscious people okay so these are the classification of complete dental patient so we'll start with the first group that is philosophical they are the best people they are the best patients to deal with they present themselves prior to the extraction of their teeth they have no experience in wearing denture and they do not anticipate any special difficulties uh, even though they don't have any previous uh, denture wearing experience okay this type of patients can be described as very easy going congenial and they are mentally well adjusted cooperative and confident of the dentist so they are very easy to manage they are very cooperative they have full confidence in the dentist the second category that is exacting so this type of patients are precise and they have above average intelligence so they are very concerned people and they usually dissatisfied by by their previous treatment okay so they are not happy with the previous dentist because they start complaining about the previous dentist and they do not have the confidence with the present dentist also so it is very difficult to satisfy these people but once they are satisfied they become the supporters to the dentist so exacting group is very difficult to get satisfied but once they are satisfied they are, they will become very cooperative of the dentist the third group is historical historical means uh, this type of patient does not want to have any treatment done so they come out of compulsion from their relatives or friends or from any other people and they have a highly negative attitude to the dentist and the treatment so they are very very difficult to manage okay because they have no desire to get the treatment done they came to the clinic just because of the compulsion because their parents says their Uh, or their relatives uh, their friends or any such people okay they came to the clinic because of just because they are being forced to okay that is why they are very difficult to manage and the class 4 is indifferent so this type of patients are uh, not concerned about their appearance and they feel very little or no necessity for teeth for mastication they are least bothered people okay so hence they are uncooperative and will hardly try to become accustomed to the denture okay even we provide them a denture they won't wear it because they don't feel to uh, use it for mastication or for an aesthetic purpose so they will not maintain the denture properly and do not appreciate the effort and skill of the dentist okay that is indifferent people so these are the four groups philosophical exacting historical and indifferent so philosophical are the best group of patients whereas the historical is very difficult to manage so next thing uh, we should think about the prognosis of this four group so the philosophical group they accept dentist judgment and instructions and they have the excellent to best prognosis whereas the exacting group they are methodical and demanding 
ask a lot of questions and they have best to good prognosis hysterical having a good to poor prognosis because they are emotionally unfit they are never happy and the last one indifferent group they doesn't care about the dental treatment and gives up very easily uh, we can say there will be good to poor prognosis so the next classification we have cooperative and uncooperative so cooperative means uh, these patients represent the optimum group they may or may not recognize the need for denture but they are very open minded and are amenable to suggestion so procedure can be easily explained uh, and they become fully cooperative so apprehensive patients okay so even though these patients realize the need for denture they have some irrational problem which cannot be overcome by ordinary explanation so the approach to all of these patients is to talk with them and to make them speak out their thoughts about the denture so again apprehensive patients can be further classified as anxious frightened obsessive chronic complainers and self conscious people so anxious people so these patients are anxious and upset about the uncertainties of wearing denture they often put themselves into a neurotic state in extreme and rare cases uh, they may be psychotic so the second group is frightened group they fear that they will not be able to wear the teeth they may fear that the teeth will not look well and extreme cases should be referred to as psychiatric so third group obsessive or exacting uh, these patients are of exacting nature and are accustomed to giving directions to others and the next group is chronic complainers so they are a group of people who are habituated fault finding and dissatisfied so it is best to have an understanding with such patients before the work starts and the next group is self conscious people so it is wise to give overt reassurance to the self conscious patient and permit participation in the reconstruction as far as feasible in order to establish some responsibility in the result okay so that is the various categories of apprehensive patient and the last one is uncooperative patient so this type of patients present themselves usually upon being urgent by relative and friends they does not feel for danger although the need exists the general attitude is negative so most of the cases an attempt to make dentures for these individuals is a waste of time so in this case dentists must collect information about the patient habits diets past dental history and the physical characteristics so the expectation of the patient should be taken into consideration to achieve a patient satisfaction okay so this small topic highlighting the mental attitude of complete denture patient so we have four types philosophical exacting hysterical and